Hey, Mike Cameron here, and I'm coming to you live from iDrive. Actually, I'm leaving iDrive right now. I just left the food truck and handled some inventory stuff, and now I'm on the way to the house. Now, I plan on making these video vlogs Monday through Friday, because I like my weekends, and I like a little bit of rest and relaxation, but you know, these video vlogs I'm finding out are very therapeutic. So I'm getting something out of it, you know, and I'm, I'm getting the opportunity to speak to you guys and tell you what's on my mind and hopefully you can relate to what I'm talking about. And maybe I can give you some insight and bring some value to your day. But thank you for your support, friends, family, subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me some advice. I'm looking for advice. Usually I can't take criticism, but for this type of stuff, because I'm new to this world and I'm, I'm just like a shave tail Louie, you know, I just need you guys to give me some feedback, give me some topics, uh, tell me what I need to do differently. Give me some good ideas. Um, I mean, not just the criticism, but follow it up with some positive uh, direction because I like that. I like new ideas. I'm all about marketing. Marketing is my major, at least was my major when I was in school. And uh, I focus on marketing specifically for building brands and businesses. Now, uh, today is a very special day. It's Sunday, and I didn't plan on making a video on Sunday, but I, I felt compelled to do it. And I, you know, I, I woke up feeling good, got enough sleep. Uh, there's a few things I wanna tell you that's on my mind, that I'm going through in my current life that are big changes in my life and uh, I wanted to kind of put it out there in the world and see, excuse me, I just ate over at Hash House, a go-go. Shout out to Hash House. Um, pretty dang lucky to get a shout out on my channel. This is gonna be monumental. I think we have something special here and hopefully this grows in popularity because I do wanna give you guys some special sauce tell you guys what makes me tick and how I achieve success and millionaire status at a young age. Now, if you don't know anything about me, if you're just tuning in for the first time, once again, my name is Mike Cameron. I've been in real estate my entire life. Real estate is my game and it was a family trade, but uh, naturally I felt compelled to jump right into it right after school. That's what I did. I haven't looked back ever since. I obtained several different types of real estate licenses. Mortgage loan origination, uh, appraiser's license, sales associate broker, uh, real estate instructor. I even teach driver improvement classes too, if you want to avoid some points on your license. Just saying. And a few other licenses, miscellaneous stuff for some other business ventures I, I've gotten into over the years. But um, anyhow, back on subject, today is a very special day. And it's my son's birthday. It's my first child. And his name is Leo. And he's just, he's everything, you know. He's, he's my mini-me. The world revolves around Leo, at least my world. And everything I do is with the thought of him and my wife, Diana, back of my mind everything I do uh, I don't know if, if you can relate to this or not but I feel as a man I, I have to I think most men feel like they have to provide for themselves and their family and once I got married and those of you who are married I think you understand what I'm talking about I kind of turned the switch a little bit or flipped the switch on and I went kind of into hyperdrive a little bit. Now I'm thinking, man, you know, I've I've built something here. I think I'm successful. But then once you get married, you start questioning those things and thinking, man, are, are they actually successful? Could I be doing something more? Could I be doing something bigger? Because now everything's on the line, right? Your, the perception of you, it changes because now her family 
looks at me in a different way. And they're thinking, okay, well, I'm giving you my the most precious gift. I'm giving you my daughter, right? I'm giving you my niece. I'm giving you my granddaughter. And I don't take that lightly. And I feel like my responsibility went up to the roof. I made the big, and I told myself I would never get married unless I knew, absolutely knew, that this is the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And I'm never gonna let this let this fail. And I got in order to make sure that we're in a position to not let it fail, because you know how sensitive money is as a subject and how it affects marriages so I wanted to make sure that that was never going to be a problem and it never affected our marriage and that the other stuff we can deal with so that's just part of the story but then I took my level of responsibility and commitment to a whole nother level by having a child my son Leo and now that the switch has been flipped into ultra hyperdrive, and now absolutely there is no failure even in my rear view mirror. I can't see it. It doesn't exist to me. Failure is not a option. I can't fail him. I can't fail Diana. I can't fail my family. I can't fail my reputation. And I know the key to success and the special sauce is caring. And it just so happens that that's our acronym for our business, my main business. And I think what fuels the success of myself and other businesses is CARE. Acronym, Cameron Academy of Real Estate. And our philosophy and what we really believe in, contrary to you can't please everybody, right? But I truly care about my clients. Excuse me. We just ate over, like I said, over uh, on International Drive. So I'm still kind of... I haven't had cheese for a while. And I think I'm starting to feel the, the cheese and dairy. Today is my cheat day, and I'm going to talk about that in just a second. I'm changing the way I think. I'm changing my lifestyle. And it starts with... Uh, diet eating habits too I am gonna talk about that but hopefully my son will view this video and he can take something from this and he knows that as long as he lives as long as I'm around I'm gonna be fighting for him and our other children our future children Ooh, some traffic here and I got a friggin' 16 wheeler behind me. I better, okay, yeah. So um, I just rented jet skis for my son's birthday and the weather, you know how Florida is, or you know what they say about Florida weather. If you don't like it, just wait 30 minutes. <laughs> and you know, it's probably gonna stop raining soon, but it's drizzling right now and you see the sun, but anyhow, on and off weather. So I want my son to look back on this video and know that, you know, as, as long as I'm around, um, I have his back 100%. And my wife, she already knows this. And I've told her a, a thousand times that as long as I'm here, you know, she has nothing to worry about when it comes to support. And, uh, you know, God willing, financial security, you know, there's things you can't control, right? You know, if I'm thinking, man, if I get sick, and then I'll talk about diet in just a second. If I get sick, if I end up with cancer, God forbid, then what happens to my businesses? Am I creating something big enough that can sustain it, uh, sustain itself? Legacy, caring about people, I think fuels that. That's a special sauce. You gotta start with helping people with the right intentions and not expecting anything back and the money's gonna come. But my son, it's his birthday today. It's all about him. And we're having a, a fiesta. 
and I feel like I need a siesta right now after eating that breakfast. It was huge, man. I'm feeling gases right now. <clears throat> but um, we're having friends and family over and family that couldn't make it. I don't hold anything against you. Listen, uh, sometimes I can't make it to functions. I try to be there for you guys, but you know, I'm building something just like you're building something, so I get it. Um, I know if you guys didn't have something important to it, attend to, then you would have showed up. So um, if you're watching, just know that there's no love lost, no hard feelings. But uh, we're having a lot of people over. We're having a party on the lake, at my lake house. And uh, we're gonna have a good old time. So, Leo, when you watch this in the future, know that mommy and daddy, we love you so much. And we can't even express in words how much we love you and our future kids. And uh, we're gonna fight for you, always. We always got your back. Hopefully these videos will be motivation for you. I would hope that you would take over the family business and maybe some of you out there would hope the same thing for your kids, but you support them in their decisions doing something else. I love creativity. I'm a creative person. And if my kids are creative too, I support that and chase your dreams, do something you love, hopefully real estate and doing things that that daddy has done, you love it too. So that way we can build something even stronger together. But I, I just want, I wanted to express that and I wanted to put it out there into the world. And for those of you who have kids, know what I'm talking about. This is my first child. I'm a rookie still, but I, I do feel it. And I know what it means now to be a father and a supporter. And uh, like I said, failure is not an option. But changing gears a little bit, um, I wanted to talk about lifestyle and some lifestyle changes that I've been going through. And I'm looking good right now, I'm gonna tell you. I, I feel good, I think I'm looking a little bit healthier. It's not that I was unhealthy, but I definitely needed some diet changes. And I've been making them slowly but surely. So I decided to become a vegan recently. And I wanna talk about it more in depth in a later video but you know there's been some struggles here and there it's really not as difficult as a lot of people have portrayed unless they had some really really deep-seated uh, dietary issues and habits that they can't break I, I, I'm gonna tell you my you know like my experience with being a vegan everywhere offers vegan stuff you're not gonna have exactly what you wanted, but you just pick out the stuff that you think is gonna um, affect that, so or affect that decision to become vegan. So no dairy, that means no cheese, no meat, no eggs, and you're not allowed to have like, you know, certain type of sugars, bleached stuff, because they use, I think, by products and by products of animals or something to bleach uh, sugar and different types of things so you just got to be careful and you know you can find it I mean you can probably go to McDonald's and get something vegan now being you know making a healthy vegan decision that's different too you know you can have fried foods I guess right as long as they're not using any type of like you know animal fats you, uh, you know, you sodas, you know, but still got to stay away from certain type of sugars. So you just got to, you know, make wise decisions. Um, and uh, Diana and I, we watched the movie What the Health. And shout out to my cousin Alana. 
she put us on these videos because something compelled her to make that decision and to tell friends and relatives about the same thing and we have Netflix it's on Netflix by the way we watched it and we were like okay well we've seen other videos before but this one really kind of put everything together and provided facts evidence and that's important to me too you know like I've seen videos on YouTube slaughterhouse videos and you probably seen videos too where they're taking little baby chicklets and toss them in a grinder and making chicken chicken nug McNuggets right so that is kind of horrifying but then it still really doesn't affect your decisions because you're thinking okay well that's life you know supply and demand we got to feed a hungry world so you know I'm a hungry person and I got I get in uh, attitudes when I don't eat I get hangry and all that stuff so my takeaway from being vegan right now and this is about a month of being vegan I don't feel like I'm lacking any nutrition after a meal, I feel lighter. I don't feel as, you know, heavy and weighed down. I'm losing a little bit of weight. I should be exercising. I haven't exercised in a while because I've been focusing on work too much. And they say, you know, you find the time for things you care about, but I just haven't really found the time because I guess I don't care about it that much. I probably should. But um, I haven't been running enough and doing enough cardio. My passion is basketball. And by the way, future video, um, I'm going to buy the Orlando Magic one day. So that's my goal. Now you can think I'm crazy, but I'm going to buy the Orlando Magic. Anyhow. Um, I probably should be exercising. You should pair it with diet, but I think I've been doing really good. And I haven't eaten any meat. No meat. But I have had... I had eggs this morning, and that's why I feel like gases are coming up. You know, I ate breakfast earlier this morning, and me and Diana, we made a decision one cheat day out of the month, and uh, her first cheat day was a big old steak, and, uh, you know, I didn't really cheat that day. I wanted to save it for today because for Leo's birthday, we're going to have a Mexican fiesta, and we're going to have delicious tacos. So... I gotta have some tacos. You're probably thinking, well, wait a second, Mike, don't you own a taco truck? So you're vegan, but you, you sell meat? Listen, that one cheat day out of the month, I go to my food truck, I destroy some tacos, okay? I love, I'm a fan of my own food. And if you're not vegan, you can re can't relate to what I'm talking about, then go for it, eat your meats, you know? And you're, you know, come and visit us and we'll serve you up the most delicious tacos you ever had in your entire life. But, um, I do miss it, however, I don't feel like I'm lacking anything. Uh, we take some vitamins, we take B12 and stuff like that. I, I don't even feel like I need it. The vit oh, well, how do you get your vitamin D? You, you know, you, you get it, you get vitamins in plants, right? You know, you do research, you see, okay, well, what about protein? Don't you need, you know, protein for energy? There's protein in plants, okay? You know, you got protein in nuts, grains, edamame, beans. So, plants have protein too. I don't feel like I'm lying. I'm not bodybuilding anymore, you know. At one point, I was 200. I was 200 clean with, like, no body fat. Probably should have did some more pictures, man. Did some modeling or something. I missed that opportunity. Now I'm a little chunky boy. Chunky monster. Taco monster. That's my nickname for Leo, by the way. Anyhow, miscellaneous stuff. I feel like I got some stuff I want to talk about in some future videos. But, Leo, if you're watching this, Daddy loves you. And uh, you're going to always be my little boy. Just like my parents tell me. I'm going to always be their little man. I feel that same way about you. And this is the best time. You know, this is the best age. You're learning so much. You're so smart, ridiculously smart. At one year, at eight months, you were walking. I got that documented. At six months, you said, Dada. You know numbers. You could say at least five different numbers. You could say nine, 10, seven, six, eight. I mean, so smart. 
You could say dada, you could say daddy, you say daddy, you say mama, you could say nana, baba, you could say leche, eche, you could say si, right? Like yes, or the letter C, I really don't know. And you can say letters, you can say A, you can say G. I just want to have this documented so you know what you've accomplished at this age. And you're going to accomplish a whole lot more. You're going to take over this world in a positive way. You're going to be the, the Elon Musk of your generation. You're going to be the Steve Jobs of your generation. Bill Gates, you're going to be the, you know, um, you're going to truly impact this world and do right by people in the community. And hopefully I give you the tools for you to be successful and accomplish that. We love you, happy birthday. And for everybody tuning in, um, I appreciate you. Like, subscribe, comment, give me ideas, give me content, give me feedback. And thank you for tuning in, signing off. We care about you.